Well, God bless you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I need to welcome each and every one of you, all my viewers. Look, I thank God for you. Thank God for your, for your life. Thank God for today. Uh, thank God for Johnny Messis. Thank God for health. Thank God for security. Even when things are not too fantastic, we still have to thank him because we don't have a choice. We don't have any other God except him. And uh, we give him all, every glory. Thank God for fathers, um, fathers in the house, mothers in the house, and uh, of course, our children. The, the Almighty God shall keep and prosper them. In Jesus' most powerful name, I pray. Equally, we thank God for grandfathers and grandmother, and uh, my mother know why I'm saying that, and it is well. Now, um, today is Thursday. January was just like yesterday, and the, the year is winding up. And uh, thank, and um, August is almost gone. Friday is tomorrow, and it is the last Friday of the month. So make sure you, you are part of the all night for Friday. The Friday, tomorrow is the last Friday of the month, for the month of August. And we are praying on new level. And I did explain it why we need to pray for new level. Why? One, I mean, yeah, for, for new level and the law of substitution. The new level is for the first thing, which I will explain. But for tomorrow, we are going to talk about reversing every evil decree, satanic decree, something that, and we are going to invoke the law of substitution. That whatever you did not wish for yourself will never come to you in Jesus' name. So that is for tomorrow, and it's 9 p.m. to 12 midnight, and we keep to time. Usually fantastic, and you are invited. First confessor, usually fantastic. I want to assure you that full house, as always. So I expect you there, and you come and pray. Midnight prayer. Psalm 30, verse 5. He said, weeping may endure all night, but joy comment in the morning. So it's what you do at night that you show forth in the day. Night is for manipulation. Day is for, is for manifestation. So that's why Jesus Christ judged at night, killed in the day. So, so you can, as it were, decree at night and expect something in the day that is good. Because the Bible says that the expectation of the righteous shall never be cut off. Now, and after the all night, we have from 28th Monday, fasting and prayer to 1st of September. And that is the, the only fasting for September. The 1st of September, we, we end, we begin Friday. So you can see why this all night is important, Friday to Friday. So we're going to do, so we're going to begin fasting from Monday. And the fasting is for the new level. Our children must, of course, some are entering uni, some are entering, moving from year one to year two, year two to year three. You need to pray for your child going to university. And that's where we're all going to a new school, a new level, a new teacher, new friends. You don't know who they, whoever they will meet, never. But your prayer can go ahead for them. And that is why you join in the fasting and prayer for the new academic year. Because the academic has its own year. And our children are factors to that the, the dynamics of an academic year. So you need to pray. One, why do we pray? They will never meet evil friends. Because you meet new people. And a new person can derail your destiny. A child can be otherwise on a course for greatness, but he meets a wrong person. That could be the beginning of the end of that child, of that dream. And you can never know, but your prayer can go for a while. The Bible says, the prayer of the righteous availeth much. And that is why you must join in the fasting and prayer. Those of you outside London, 
Those of you in Nigeria, those of you in the other part of Europe, those of you, you will join us as usual on air and we'll give out the prayer points so that you will call it, pray, and be part of it. Naturally, our fasting and prayer is from um, 1 o'clock, I mean, yeah, from, from, from 10 in the morning to 1. We meet in the church every day for the five days. Then 7 to 9 every evening. You, we do, 6 to 6, you can break after 6, but you can take liquid during the day so that you can have energy to pray and to walk. And God bless you. And choir. All glory must be to the Lord. For he is worthy of my praise. viewers and so each and every one of you in the very blood of Jesus. That blood of Jesus will never speak for you. If there's somebody there and being led to pray that the blood of Jesus will silence every other blood crying against your destiny, against your future, against your blessing, against your head, against your children. Any blood for that matter crying against you, I silence them in the name of Jesus. All glory must be to the Lord, for he is worthy of our praise, of our praise. No man on earth should give glory to himself, all the glory must be to the Lord, all glory must be to Jesus, for he is worthy of our praise, of our praise, no man on earth should give glory. All that glory must be to the Lord. 
for he is worthy of our praise of our praise no man on earth should give glory to himself all that glory he must be to the Lord all that glory must be to the Lord. All glory must be to the Lord. All glory must be to the Lord. Father, I cancel every mark of death upon you, every mark of sickness. You will never vegetate in your life. There is somebody there looking at me. You will have waste pain over the years. And medication have not worked. Today is your day of deliverance. Every satanic animal they use in order to cause you. So that you will be paralyzed. Today... Deliverance has come to you in the mighty name of Jesus. I cancel that snare. Anywhere they use tortoise and snare to cause you. So that you will never, you can move at a snare pace. My father, my own, in the name of Jesus. Let God give you his own speed over that matter, over your business. I reject that dream of burial in your family. No untimely death in the mighty name of Jesus. And my father, my all, I thank you. Any person uh -huh, yeah, yeah. cooking any evil meal for you and for me, whosoever that is cooking an evil meal for you, Father, they will eat that meal themselves. You will live and not die. Psalm 118 verse 17. That is the word of the Lord. And I thank you and I bless you for each and every one of you. And um, I'm hearing Oh dear Kaya Hallelujah Emmanuel I got to stop Alright now Yesterday I began a teaching And thank God and thank God for yesterday And of course probably I begin with somebody that called that I should tell him where the scripture, I think. Well, let me not even begin with that at all. I will begin with it once the lines are open. Yesterday, I began a teaching about the, about the mystery of the body. Why did Jesus Christ give us the body and the blood? Go to that scripture. Why did Jesus Christ say, eat? This is my body. In fact, and indeed, oh, yeah, 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 good stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why did, you know, Jesus Christ used to have over 50 disciples. But when he told them one day, I'm the bread of life. I'm the bread of life. And the people said, what? He said, I am the bread. You see, this is my body, is bread. Ha. 
Some guy said, we can't take this. No, no. This guy has gone mental. And they left him. I'm telling you. Am I right? Because it seems you are laughing as if it's not true. I'm concurring, sir. Okay, you are concurring. Yes. So, you know, there was a time he had more than 12 disciples. Yes, but when he said, I'm the bread of life, some people just carried the Bible and said, this guy is mental. How can we eat you? It's very important. And I want to teach you about the mystery of the body. And it's going to be a long teaching and because I, th there are no books. I've read books on the blood. I've written on the blood. So many people have written on the blood. But there's no book on the body. And that is why I'm, I, I will go deep into this. Because th there is a mystery. And the evil ones decided to drop some bread in my compound. <laughs> All these local native doctors. They decided to drop bread. I'm not talking about physical bread. So, Jesus Christ said, why did he say, eat the, my body? I'm going to. Matthew 26, yeah. from verse 26. Uh -huh. And as they were eating, uh -huh. Jesus took bread uh -huh. and blessed it uh -huh. and break it uh -huh. and gave it to the disciples mm -hmm. and said, mm -hmm. take, uh -huh. eat, uh -huh. this is my body. Uh -huh. And he took the cup uh -huh. and gave thanks. Uh, okay, he said, take, eat, this is my body. Then he did the same thing. Yes, I'm too sorry. And he took the cup uh -huh. and gave thanks uh -huh. and gave it to them, uh -huh. saying, uh -huh. drink ye all of it, uh -huh. for this is my blood uh -huh. of the New Testament, uh -huh. which is shed for uh -huh. many. Okay, wait. So the blood, the body and the blood is not, they are, they, they are, they are useful for me and you. On planet Earth, not in heaven. You, the, you don't need the blood of Jesus to overcome anybody in heaven. The blood of Jesus that is shed for me and for you. That's your Revelation 12, 11. He said, we overcame him, Satan, by the blood. On the earth, in this kingdom of man. Yes. Revelation 12, 11. Yeah, yeah. And they overcame him uh -huh. by the blood of the lamb. But they overcame him. Whom did they overcome? Satan. Ah, uh, where? On earth. On earth. Not in heaven. Because you don't, you show the white soul, follow, follow. Why did Jesus Christ give us his body? Why did he give us his blood? It is on the face of the earth. Because there are two kingdoms. And the blood and the body of Jesus will help you to overcome the powers of darkness in the kingdom that we are in, not in the kingdom of God. Then we know how to apply the blood. How about the body? What is the essence of body? Why are some people, why do some people escape cancer? That cancer will never near them. No member of Jesus Sanctuary, not one, not one, not one person or member of Jesus Sanctuary, not one soul can ever have cancer on the face of the earth because we take the body of Jesus beyond the mere ceremonial aspect of it. It's not for his memory. Mm. It's for us to overcome the powers and the kingdom that is invading our own kingdom. There are two kingdoms. Go to Psalm 115 um, one, 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 now. One, one, yes. Five, yeah, yeah. Go to Psalm 115 verse 16. And what Psalm 115 verse 16. Yes. It said, The heaven, uh -huh. even the heavens, uh -huh. are the Lord's. Uh -huh. But the earth uh -huh. had he given to the children of men. So, so the heaven is for God. But the earth had he given to the children of men. So the, the, the Bible is talking of two kingdoms. There is the kingdom of God and the kingdom of man. Now, Genesis chapter 1 verse 28. God made two kingdoms. When God is a created man in his own image after his likeness 
And he told man, this is your kingdom. Operate here. I give you power. I give you authority. Dominate. Control. Give names to everything that lives on the earth. That's why Adam was given power to name anything on the earth, not in heaven. He named everything that, is, that existed on the earth because he was in charge of the earth. He was the, he, he was the, the Baba of the earth before sin. And with you? Genesis 1, 28. Yeah. And God blessed them. Uh -huh. And God said unto them, uh -huh. Be fruitful uh -huh. and multiply uh -huh. and replenish the earth uh -huh. and subdue it uh -huh. and have dominion uh -huh. over the fish of the sea uh -huh. and over the fowl of the earth mm -hmm. and over every living thing uh -huh. that moveth upon the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. Have dominion. So man is to dominate the earth. So there are two kingdoms, not the kingdom of God. So God original plan was, okay, I'm in charge of heaven. Adam, you take care of, of the earth. I will come down in the cool of the evenings and we chat. And thereafter, I retire to heaven. To where I am. But when man sinned, of course, somebody else took up the power, the dominion of the earth. But before then, go to this scripture that will establish, go to 1 Corinthians 15, 50. I said yesterday, I will begin from there. Yes, I'm with you. 1 Corinthians 15, 50. Yes, sir. It said, now, this I say, brethren, uh -huh. that flesh and blood uh -huh. cannot inherit the kingdom of God. He said, flesh and blood cannot what? Inherit the kingdom of God. But, so if, it's that me, but, but flesh and blood can can control and dominate and inherit and be in charge of the kingdom of man. That is the other meaning. If you reverse it, he said flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Mm -mm. But flesh and blood can enjoy the kingdom of man. <laughs> I will come, at, that's why people do sacrifices. They use blood to do sacrifices on the tea junction. That's why people use human beings. As somebody was saying, on a, well, I don't know how to eat it, but everybody knows that. That's why you can use medicine on the earth. It will work for you. That's why people can enslave others. That's why a human being can enslave another human being and corrupt and control him as, as he or she wants. Because the earth is for man. <laughs> and take it to somewhere. Matthew 16, 17. Matthew 16, 17. Yeah. And Jesus answered and said unto him, mm -hmm. Blessed art thou, mm -hmm. Simon uh, Bajona, uh -huh. for flesh and blood. What is flesh and blood? Yes. That is what you see, not the powers of the earth. Yes. For flesh and blood uh -huh. had not revealed it unto thee, uh -huh. but my Father, uh -huh. which is in heaven. My Father, which is in heaven. So... Peter, Jesus Christ said, Peter, the, the information you had about me didn't come from the earth, from the, from the earthly kingdom. He came from above. Power from above, there is power from above. Power from above, there is power from above. I believe. I believe there is power from above. So you have two realms of power, of authority. In the realm of man, flesh and blood rules. That's why people use blood, animal blood. If you read my book on the blood, the blood of the fire of the air, has its own function. The blood of goat has its own function. The blood of lizard has its own function. The blood of python has its own function. Human blood has its own function. And that's how people sacrifice up to today, both in third world countries, I mean, yeah, third world countries, both in advanced countries, both in every society, in, both in Europe, both in Africa, both in America, both in Asia, there is sacrifice. Sacrifices are there. 
don't, don't, don't sacrifices that are bought in the past and up to tomorrow. That's why you have missing people all over the places, both in, both in Africa, both here, both everywhere. People are missing. They, they are not missing into heaven. Give me <coughs> Ephesians 6.12. Ephesians 6.12. Yes. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, uh -huh. but against principalities, uh -huh. against powers, uh -huh. against the rulers of uh -huh. the darkness of this world. I will, I will come to navigate that to you later. But what Paul is trying to say that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, that our battle is not only embedded in the realm of man. It is orchestrated from the realm of the spirit. And I'm going to, sh I will show you the difference between devil and Satan. Just like there is, Satan is the chief prince of devil. What Jesus is to God is what Satan is to devil. I will show you. But well, hold on. I want to establish something and it will be amazing. And you will love it. And that's why some people may come say they don't believe in God. And they only believe. They don't believe in God. I mean, they only believe in God. You hear people say they don't believe in Jesus. They believe only in God. And you see people who will tell you they don't believe in devil. But they believe in Satan. Because Satan is the god of the world. Hold on, no, no, no. I'm coming first. I'm trying to jump. Give me um, Holy Spirit. Matthew 6, 33, sir. Matthew 6. Matthew 6, 33. Yes. But seek you first uh -huh. the uh -huh. kingdom of God. But seek you first the kingdom of God. And his righteousness. Uh -huh. And all these things uh -huh. shall be added unto you. So the Bible recognizes that there are two kingdoms. That is where I'm going. You see, all these things I'm trying to establish. Why am I trying to establish the kingdom of flesh and blood? Because you need the power in the dust that Jesus Christ gave his body and gave his blood for you to exist and overcome the world. Because when man sinned, man exceeded the power given to man, to Satan. When man sinned, devil captured the power. Go to John, the book of John. Give me John, uh, before then, give me John 18, 36. John 18, 36. Yes. Or go to John 10, 31. I'm sorry. John 10, 31. Yes. Before that, John 18. And that is John 10, 31. Yes, sir. Yes. He said, then the, the Jews. Yes. John 10, 10 John 10, 10 31. 31. Yes. Okay. He said, then the Jews took up stones. John. Sorry, I think I made a mistake, sir. You don't know where John is now. I mean, John 10, 10 31, sir. John 10, 31. Okay, fine. Go to, read for me, read that. Go to John 18, 18, 36. John 18, 36. Yes. And with you? He said, Jesus answered, uh -huh. my kingdom yes. is not of this world. Uh -huh. If my kingdom were of this world, uh -huh. then would my servants fight uh -huh. that I should not be delivered to the Jews. So, say it again. He said, if my kingdom uh -huh. were of this world, yeah. then would my servants fight. No, no, begin from the beginning, yes. John 18, 36. Uh -huh. Jesus answered, uh -huh. my kingdom is not of this world. My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world. If my kingdom were of this world. Then would my servants fight. Then I can even cause the angels and my servants to fight. That I should not be delivered to the Jews. So that the Jews cannot handle me anyhow. But now is my kingdom not from hence. Okay, now, but the point is that there are two kingdoms. Go to John 14, 30. John 14, 30. John 13, 14. He said, hereafter, 14, 30, yes. 
hereafter, I yeah. will not speak much with you. Uh -huh. For the prince of this world cometh uh -huh. and had nothing in me. So there's the prince of this world, which is Satan, not devil. Second Corinthians 4.4. 4. Second Corinthians 4.4. 4. Second Corinthians 4.4. 4. 4. Yes. Yes. In whom the God of this world so they, they, uh -huh. had blinded the minds of them which believe not, uh -huh. lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, uh -huh. which is the image of God, uh -huh. should shine unto them. Now, I, why am I laying all this foundation? It's to tell you one. Follow me. There are the kingdom of flesh and blood. And in the kingdom of flesh and blood, only flesh and blood you will use to overcome. That is why Jesus Christ gave us his body. Why did he say it? His body so that no arrow can ever penetrate your body. If you understand, if you have that understanding. And no person can kill you, kill your body. Because Matthew 10, 28, he says that, that the body is killable. But if your body is, align, is in alignment, through understanding who you are in our Lord Jesus Christ, and you eat his body, the body of Jesus can never contain any cancer or tumor or high blood pressure or disease. In fact, no disease inside you will ever kill you. If your body is in alignment with the body of Jesus, and if you understand that, because when you talk about the body, the body talks about flesh. So the body, apart from the physical aspect of the body, the body has the central aspect of it, which you call flesh. And Galatians 5 talks, because I'm going to deal with that, uh, about the works of the flesh, which is part of the body. And so if your body is in alignment with the body of Jesus Christ. And that's why Jesus Christ said, eat my body. He said, I'm the bread of life. And when you eat bread physically, you have carbohydrates. So if you eat the body of Jesus, you have spiritual carbohydrate that will give you energy to fight, to pray, to overcome the works of flesh. But there's something I said, and I want to zero, it, it, to zero it in before I stop so far. I said that there's a mystery I saw. You know, Satan has a way, Satan has a kingdom when he took over the Adamic one. And Satan began to operate as if he's organ. And that's why Satan has the audacity. Go to Luke. For he has the audacity to tell Jesus. He said, this world has been handed over to me. Look, Jesus Christ, I know you came from heaven. I mean, devil was telling, said, I mean, was telling Jesus. He said, it's whosoever I want to give. He was even doing it first. So I was not there. You were not there. But I just assumed. He was doing with some shakara. Yes, look. Luke chapter 4, uh -huh. verse 5 and 6. Uh -huh. And the devil, uh -huh. taking him up uh -huh. into a high mountain, uh -huh. showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world uh -huh. in the moment of time. Go ahead. And said unto you him. You see, all the kingdoms of the world yeah. means financial kingdom, economic kingdom, social kingdom, all the, king, all the glory of the world, all the cars, all the planes, all the good things, all the gold watches, all the big churches. That's why some churches have the glory of the world, not the glory of God. But people confuse them because Satan can give you the glory of the world. He has appearance as if it's the glory of God. And crowd is following. Crowd follows everybody. Musicians, crowd follow them. So crowd can follow also. But the, the important thing is it of God. Because Satan says, I can what? Verse 6. Yeah. And said unto him, uh -huh. All this power uh -huh. will I give thee, uh -huh. and the glory of them. And the glory of them. 
For that is delivered unto me. By who? By Adam. And to whomsoever I will, uh -huh. I give it. That is why some people must covenant before the churches can grow. That is why you see churches expanding, 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 sins, increasing, increasing, increasing. But there's something I said. Why should somebody use charm in the church and it will work? Why? You see, I said Satan is different from Jesus. Satan is in charge of the world. Devil is in high place. That's why Paul says, Ephesians 6, he said, our battle is not just only flesh and blood. It is orchestrated by devil. But Satan is the chief prince. Just like at the, at the end time, Jesus will come to conquer, to dominate, and to rule the world. We will be in rulership with him eventually. Give me Revelation 9. Revelation 11, uh, 12, 9. 12, 9, please. Yes. And the great dragon, so let me from verse 8, uh, verse 7, and there was war in heaven. No, begin from the one I told you. Okay, sorry. Revelation, Revelation 12, 12 9. Yeah. And, and the great dragon was cast out. Uh -huh. That old serpent. No, slow down. Go here again. Is it Revelation 12, 9. Uh -huh. And the great dragon uh -huh. was cast out. Uh -huh. That old serpent. That old serpent. Called the devil. Called the devil. And Satan. And Satan. Which but, deceived the whole world. Daniel. He was cast out. Oh, into oh, hold on. Go back again. And the great dragon uh -huh. was cast out. Uh -huh. That old serpent. Uh -huh. Called the devil. Uh huh. And Satan. And who? And Satan. And means another. Go ahead. Which deceived the whole world. Who is in charge of the world. Go ahead. He was cast out into the earth. Uh -huh. And his angels were cast out with him. Uh, Bernie, I rest my case. I will begin to excavate. And that's why you need, that's why Jesus Christ gave his body and his blood. For me and you to overcome. I think I will stop so far. Yesterday, somebody said, did you get the scripture? That they prove. I said, I stopped calling people daddy in the church. And one, I they want to, God will bless you, sir. He said he needs the Bible. To, because people called me daddy and I rebuked them. I said, stop it. Call people. Don't carry your destiny to people. Somebody you call daddy, father, can finish you for life. And it is not scriptural. Yes, Matthew what? Matthew 23, verse 9. Read it. And call no man your father upon the earth. For one is your father which is in heaven. All, he said, call no man. Your own biological father is not a man. It's your father. <laughs> and God bless. All right. Uh, the lamps, I'm sure, we, uh, the, sorry, the lamps will open. And... Um, Please remember the fasting and prayer for tomorrow is very key, and we are praying for the covenant of, I mean, the law of substitution. Look, people come from uh, from Amsterdam, people come from Ireland for all night. Some of you there, all you do is call me on the phone. Is that Pastor Oja? It's good to call on the phone, that, but it's good to work out your salvation and learn how to pray and learn not to, not, because we are all made in the image of God. Nobody is special favorite. Of course, anointings are there. Anointing is there. However, you can, as you pray, dominate in your own area. And what is it? See, I'm Emanuela from Italy. All right. Good evening, sir. Yes. Please pray for me for the fruit of the womb. After my miscarriage last year, wow. nothing again since then. Okay, Emanuela, in the name that is above every other name, your testimony will change. The miscarriage, I'm sure, I know it is painful. But uh, I use Isaiah 49, 26. No one will drink your blood and your destiny can never be close. I use it as a point of contact to all my viewers. Many people have testified on air, of course, when God touched them. Let your case be the same. 
so that you will never share this kind of testimony again. Let God hear your cry because your parents gave birth to you. You hear the cry of children in your life. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. All right? He said, good evening, Pastor Yes. Today is my first time watching your program. Wow. I want to say thank God for your life. Amen. From E.K. All right. Okay. Thanks a lot, E.K. Wow. It means that you just stumbled into it. Thanks, sir, uh, for your kind words. And God bless you. E.K. Chukwu, I guess. I want you, sir. He said, say, say, Pastor, I will appreciate if you can help with Bible verse to support a guest calling Daddy, thank you, sir. I love your administration. Uh, I, have, I have already given that, and that is uh, Matthew what? 23, verse 9. Matthew 23, verse 9. My, stop calling pastors. Stop calling pastors. You see, uh, uh, I have people that are over 70 years in church in London, in Nigeria, and they will see me and be calling me daddy. How does it even sound? And the and, 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 and mommy, all this mommy, daddy, thing, mommy, daddy. I can't I can't get it. I can't rationalize it. Mommy, daddy, mommy, mommy, daddy, mommy. That is terrible. All those things are cultic manipulation. You know, in the kingdom of darkness, there's no freedom. They want you to obey, and that's why they bring you on that subjection. That's why this daddy thing began from you know where it began, all of you. It began and I, it began from redeem and other churches, all of them. Daddy, 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 daddy. All those things are one sign of occultic manipulation. Occultic, because those did not call, they lack order. Just order is good. They don't like disobedience. I'm telling you the truth. And they know I've been saying it. I well, I went to Israel. Somebody told me that, ah, they said that is how I talk, that I talk straight. I said, of course, I talk straight. So this daddy, daddy is, um, is manipulator. So that when you leave the church, you they can determine your destiny. Church is free entry, free entry. Do, do you call me daddy? No. He doesn't call me. I cannot. Of course. I will bind him and the daddy. So, so you call them my father. But people who respect people. Pastor is an honor. Yes, sir, it's an honor. All right, Marinda from Bo uh, from Bolton. Bolton. Bolton is where? It's near Manchester. Okay, near Manchester. I thought it's yes. I would use that. I would use Marinda. Hello. Yes, ma. Pastor Uzo. Ma. Yeah, I'm, I'm just calling for asking for pray for me for favor, God in favor and breakthrough. If you want favor and breakthrough, do you give to the poor? Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I like, look, God bless you. <laughs> Always, you see, no. one, uh, one way to get favor is to give people that you, in, in quote, that, you, that may need help. Or even people that are your mate or above you or below. Because giving opens door. It opens door. So, but I'm going to pray because you are quite an honest person. I need for you to... Some will say, oh, I give, I give, but inside, you know, but let me pray. I'm going to pray a prayer. Yeah, good, 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 good. Let God favor you so that let God give you a test and favor you. And I see how you will use it to bless the children of God in Jesus' name, I pray. And you will see, Amen. blessing will come. It will be test. And okay. remember the less privilege. Bless your friends, your brothers, and your sisters, and your parents, of course. Yeah. All right? And God bless you. Okay, Johnson from Ireland. How are you, sir? Johnson. I'm all right. Uh, Archbishop of London. Good jo evening, sir. Yeah, Johnson. How are you, sir? I'm good, sir. God bless. That in, uh, the scripture, Andrew read that, Pastor Andrew read last time, you know. Yes. Liberation 12 from 9 to going down. That yeah. place always reminds me something. Because when you watch the contents of that scripture, after the Satan was cast down, cast down to the earth, and what happened? Announcement came to heaven. He said, now salvation have came to heaven. Mm -hmm. Then I begin to ask myself, so when Satan was in heaven, there was chaos, there was no salvation. Yeah. So, but when he said, woe to inhabitants of the earth and of the water that the accuser of brethren have cast down the earth, 
we have to understand that the only place for you to defeat Satan is in a church. Because Satan is a prosecutor. Okay. And church is a court of God. Yeah. So people have to understand this when you are in a right court, when your case is in the right court, mm -hmm. not every court. Mm -hmm. Because we have courts that are not from God, you know. Yeah, but when your case is in a right court, yes. and you have a right judge, mm -hmm. who said God is the right judge, and we have, you have a, you are, somebody who will present you who the pastor that God has said he will give you, to feed you with knowledge and wisdom according to the word of the living God in Jeremiah 3 verse 15. Yeah. So you begin to do what excel in life yeah. because the accuser of brethren will be defeated. Yeah. When your case is open before God, anything that is, is going to use to accuse you, then God has already known that you meet up the requirement. Yes. So there is no way you will struggle for blessings. So I keep saying this thing, you know, what you are saying, you know, I, I understand what you are saying about occultic and this thing, you know. But people, like what you say, people will be in London calling on TV, calling on, calling you direct, but why are they suffering? They are still in London. They cannot make themselves available to the court of the Lord. Because when you make us yourself available to higher court, then judge will automatically hear your case. So why can't they make themselves available? And I came to understand because Satan has a way to manipulate their mind. I agree with you. So we have already marginalized people enough, yes. and people are just being confused because of too much of, you know, like polluted doctrine that is not of God. And they are speaking it to manipulate their mind to make merchandise of them. Yeah. And I said, I said it again. Why is it that they will have police escort, yes. have everything in this world to guide them, yes. but they ask the members to use sticker to guide themselves? Yes. So God bless you, sir. And, you know, and I want that what you are and, doing great, sir. God bless you. And, yes, and I agree with And I keep answering you. The angels don't guide money. It's human beings that guide money. So the pastors are right. If they have wealth, they have wealth. They have gold, they, they have schools, they have money. They need human beings to guide money. Angels. <laughs> that means they have debated. Of course. I, uh, I agree with you. I'm just trying to tell you why they need the escort. Because they have money. A poor man does not need security. A poor man is me and you that need security. A poor man does not fear war. Do you see rich people rioting? Only the hungry people riot. Whom did they kill in political riot? Is the children of the poor, not the children of the rich. That is the truth of the matter. You have added value, sir, as always, the, the Bishop of Ireland. And God bless you. All right? Yeah, we have text messages. Okay, Chimwe from Italy. We have text messages. Yeah, Chimwe. My, yes. God bless you, Pastor. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Pastor, you said something yesterday about the uh, law of substitution. Yes. Uh, uh, this is really happening because there was a very, there is a very strong, uh, wicked wish in our kindred. Okay. Anytime we we do a prayer, yes. the wish will become big. Aha. Uh -huh. And uh, if I thought that the stranger something she did. She yes. According to the prayer we did, she will fall and sick. Aha. Do you know that this thing happens to most ago now? Aha. And everybody thought that she would die. Immediately, and unfortunately, somebody dies. And she, did, she becomes okay again. When she falls sick and somebody dies, she becomes okay. Aha. And now we are suspecting <laughs> that. Maybe she's using those hairs. Of course, of course. Look, look, Chimwe, you are you are fantastic. You see, I like practical. What a member of Jesus Sanctuary, they said his son, just to support you, was sick, was admitted in the hospital. And she was called. And and the husband too admitted in the same hospital. I told her to go and pray over the son. I mean, at the same time, pray over the son, anoint him. The son became well. Immediately, he said something left him. And they removed all the oxygen marks and became well. 
the father died. Just to tell you, he said, that's Isaiah 4, 6. He said that those who know their God, um, I don't teach theology. I don't know it. I'm telling you what is going on in the life of people. Thanks a lot for adding value to this program, and God bless you as always. Yes, you have so many text messages. Yes, sir. Let's read some. Yes, I'm it, Good evening, sir. Yeah. And God bless you, Pastor Ozo. Yeah. I saw a black dog moving around my car. But suddenly, an elderly woman with a walking stick chased the dog out of my car. But in the same dream, I saw something like accident on a highway as I was driving. I prayed against accident. But what is the meaning of this dream, sir? I just, you, you know the meaning, and you have tried. Just pray, like you said, dog in the scriptures are not bad. I mean, are bad. Dog is a, a sign of spiritual witchcraft. That's why the Samson says about the power of dogs. The Bible recognizes the power of dogs. There is power of dogs. And that's why dog is among the animals that are the most sensitive. Dog as an animal is not evil. But the evil ones use the power. Just like the evil, evil spirit use human beings to do evil. They use anything that has bread to their own advantage. Becky from Birmingham. How are you, ma? Becky. I'm fine, thank you, Pastor yeah. Uzo. Yes, um, just to say thank you for everything you've been doing. I'm different since watching you in 2012. Oh, um, I pray, I read my Bible, yes, following your uh, prayer points and everything. My life has been different. Wow. But I just want to add to what you said about Satan um, having wealth. Um, on earth. I know a lot of people will not believe you, but it's true. Yeah. Because Satan has shown me lots of, it took me to somewhere so uh -huh. I could see deep down the water. Uh -huh. And he just showed me gold. Wow. Throughout. It's, it's just gold everywhere in the water. If I were worship him, he would give me the gold. No gold. It was just all gold, pure gold in the water. Wow. So, and um, I just said I should share this because some people may not believe it, but it's true. Okay, look, my so, sister, you have just added value and God will bless you. And, and it means too, you are destined to be great. You are destined, it's not every person he will tempt like he did, like Jesus. Because something greater is awaits you in the court of God. And God bless you, man. Antonia, from London, you got to run. You got to run, ma. How are you, ma? Antonia from London. Hello, Pastor. How are you? Fine. Good. I want to pray for you. Oh, please. In Jesus' name. Amen. No one will use it for evil. Amen. God will come from the body of Jesus. Amen. No one will use it for evil. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Can you pray for my dad? Amen. Go ahead. Anything you say, I will say amen. Anything. Can you pray? Yes. Can for you pray for my dad, oh, please? Oh, okay. That, oh, wonderful. Antonia, sorry, I'm being selfish. I needed to grab all your prayers. It is where we tell your father and Antonia, God is going to use you. You are a seed. In, in this world, and you will be a blessing to your generation, and your and people will know that you existed on planet Earth. That, how old are you? Oh, Antonia, and she speaks well. Wonderful. God bless you. You have made my day, my viewers. You see, children are my pastors. Be careful. The, the babas, or the babas, I got to go. I will see you by his grace on Saturday. Watch this program again on Faith TV, Sky Digital 590. I got to leave, but God bless you. You must be blessed. Tomorrow is Friday. Join us and bye-bye.